Why is it that you so firmly believe the government doesn't need to say sorry about anything in relation to the failings of the vaccine rollout? I think, I think Australians just want us to get it right. And no country's got their pandemic response 100%. And I think Australians understand that. And uh, Australia, despite saving more than 30,000 lives and getting a million people back into work and providing economic supports at, at its peak to and three and a half million people and what we've been able to achieve together, I think Australians accept that. I, I know Australians would like the vaccination program to be further advanced than it is now, but I can tell you, based on the plan that was agreed and uh, adopted by both my Cabinet and endorsed by the National Cabinet last year, we're about two months behind where that otherwise will be. And it may even be less than that by the time we get to the end of this year. And so those delays are regrettable. We all know they're a result of many factors. Sure, there's going to be plenty of critics in hindsight. They'll have various motivations for doing it. But what Australians, I think, want from me is to make sure we make up that ground, we hit these marks that we're hitting, and that we are hitting those marks, and they want me to... I take responsibility for the problems we've had but I'm also taking responsibility for the solutions we're putting in place and the vaccination rates that we're now achieving. Okay, thank you. Thank you.